Hey friends, welcome back to our One Up Leadership training. Today's video, we are going to be talking about our list of 100. So I know that you've heard it a thousand times, how important it is to have your list of 100. And we have created a document that is pretty much the same, it's the same idea. Um, it's just a little bit more broken down to make it a little bit, um, to expand your, your thoughts as far as who you know and who to contact. So the list of 100, generally speaking, is a list of 100 people that you know that might possibly be interested in buying, hosting, or joining Sensi. So historically, it would be your friends, your relatives, your acquaintances, your neighbors, your kids' contacts, and your spouse contacts. Franks is usually the acronym. So what we've done is we've created this list of 100 document, and we will upload this for you. And it has... Um, We've basically taken the current catalog, the new catalog, and plugged in some categories for us to look for different customers. So we still have friends on there. We still have family on there. We've added coworkers, um, neighbors, any church club or group. So that could be sports. That could be bunko. That could be Bible study. That could really be um, up to interpretation. And you might actually get more people in that category than just the space allotted. So you could just keep continue adding, you might end up getting more than a hundred. Um, your spouse's friends, um, your, any school for your, your kid's school, or if you personally go to college, um, your work office. So that could double as coworkers, but if your, if your spouse has, um, has coworkers, you could do that. Um, anybody who likes subscription boxes. So you could just put a general kind of, um, announcement out there like does anybody subscribe to ipsy or bark box or um date box snap crate things like that that they you know they love and recommend and why and then those people who do usually are the types of people who like subscription boxes so those people might be people you would list here in hopes of maybe um introducing them to our whiff boxes um, anybody who likes farmhouse, anybody who has pets, likes pets, veterinarians, things like that. Um, people who have dogs specifically, because we have a couple different dog type warmers plus our pet line. Um, anybody who likes flowers and butterflies, um, your kids or um, anybody who has kids maybe. Um, anybody who loves Disney, which I think that this Disney um, column actually could probably be like three or four times the size of it, just in my my uh, customer base alone, or anybody who likes Marvel. So, um, of course, as we get new LTOs and things like that that come out, this list might end up even expanding more because you might have people who are like, wow, I didn't even know that I had this many Nightmare Before Christmas fans. I'm going to have like a whole Nightmare Before Christmas um, section alone. Um or even even more specifically, like if somebody specifically likes one character or one movie, um, things like that. So what you could also do, expanding on your list of 100 as far as people and categories go, is make a separate page that is specific to the scent. So you could have people who you know love Luna, who you know love Sunkissed Citrus, who you know love um, Christmas Cottage, and then like it's their ultimate favorite. Like it's not like they ordered once so you add them to the list. But people who are like this is going in my club. This is um, this is my jam. So that way if Scentsy comes out with let's say a fragrance flower in a new scent that they're not that in Blue Grotto um, for example. And they're a huge Blue Grotto fan. You can contact them and say hey listen I know that Blue Grotto is your favorite scent. We just came out with all these new products with this scent. Let me know if you want me to add any of them for you. So maybe I'll have Mike edit this document um, just as like a page two. Um, this would be like the main page that I would focus on filling out. But maybe the page two might be specific based on what you currently know with your customer. So you might be able to expand more on this list of 100, maybe even a list of 200 um, that you can pull from for future products. So if it is Christmas Cottage, um, and you know they love Christmas Cottage because every fall and winter when it comes back, they 
they order it or they get a brick of it, you could put them on there. Um, so that way in January, when you know it's going away, you can contact them, but then back in the fall, when it comes back, you can contact them too. So if you guys have any questions about this list of 100, um, let us know. We will be uploading this document. And as well, um, this might always change. Like my list of 100 from when I first started is not gonna be the same as my list of 100 now. Um, I'm, I'm starting to think of other categories in my head too, like people who like essential oils. So I'm going to um, have my create like a, like a second page. So this is 100, but we might even be able to expand to 200 because there are so many different, um, different categories. Like if you have people who, um, like if you personally have your own other direct sales friends that you shop with, I would add them on there too, because you guys might be able to, to, to connect and network together. So that's just another option. So I'm going to continue brainstorming on how we can expand this list of 100, maybe even to a list of 200. After you take this list, you contact them. So he has a little note here, highlight possible recruits. So if you have somebody who's like, um, oh, I do love Sensi and, um, but right now I just lost my job, blah, blah, blah you know, highlight them. Over here, it says circle possible hosts. So if people are like, I want all the things, circle them and be like, okay, that might be somebody who wants to host because they want all the things. Why not host a party and get all the things for free and half price? So um, so this will be available for you to use to fill out. Make sure you fill it out and do something with it. Don't just fill it out and leave it to sit and collect dust. Um, it's basically just giving you an idea. A lot of people will join and say, I don't know anybody. I really don't know. I don't, I don't have any other friends. I'm just a stay at home mom. I just go to work in the office all day. Um, but you, you have people you interact with that you may not, um, realize that you're interacting with them. So do you go to Starbucks every morning? Do you have a barista that usually makes your coffee? There you go. You know, why not slip them a catalog or slip them a scent circle for for making your coffee great one day? Um, do you have a mailman, a UPS driver, um, a cashier at your local grocery store? Um, there's so many people that we interact with. So unless we live in a bubble and we hide in our bedroom 24-7 and we're homebound, there are people that we interact with. Um, so I would say fill out this list. And then if you are stuck, like if you're like, okay, um, you know what, I really only know three people who like dogs, which is totally not true because everybody likes dogs, then you can ask your friends, just say, does anybody know um, like uh, somebody who is like really knowledgeable about dogs or um, I really want to, I'm really looking into getting a pug. Um, does anybody have a pug or know anybody who is familiar with pugs? There, that right there is a contact. If you don't, let's say, um, okay, let me think. Let's say that um, I, let's do um, club group, okay? So let's say I don't belong to any clubs or groups or anything like that. My kids are in sports, but I'm not a team mom or anything, which is not true, I am, but I'm just saying. So, Let's say you go to your, on your Facebook and you join a local um, club, like a soccer club or a football club group um, to get more information. Your kid's on the team. Don't be a, like a creeper and just start joining all these things. But then you, you might be, okay, I'm actually going to, well, let's see. I had a thought, but then I don't want to be out of compliance either. Um, well, I'm just going to nick that thought. Um farmhouse you can ask has anybody been to Waco Texas and visited Magnolia Farms um and then or you know who who all loves fixer upper those are your farmhouse people so those are the people who you can target to a lot of our products to our farmhouse decor um so that just gives you an idea of of different people that you can contact um and if you can't fill up the list then look at your list and talk to those people about helping you fill up the list. Um, truly, I mean, if you only know five people, those five people know five more people. The this, this circle expands. It's not just you and your five people is, is it. Um, if it's just you and your five people, you're going to exhaust your circle. But 
you need to branch out and expand your circle and that's how you that's how you get recruits that's how you get hosts that's how you um build your customer base is by referrals and people who know people who know people who know people so if you guys have any questions about anything please let me know otherwise we will see you on the next video